All right. So we're here on the clerk of the circuit court of Cook County, their website, online case search. All right. And, um, you know, I always like to keep things authentic as possible. So I'm going to start off from the search page and then we're going to go to the page. Instead of me just already being on the page, I don't want anybody to think documents or fabricated anything like that. So I'm going to put in the case here, 2018, key that in. This is stuff I've already been looking up, so it's already, you know, in queue. That's the case number, division code L. And you'll see that once I hit start new search and we get on the page and the same information you just seen me key in, 2018 L and so forth. Now, for you, for the newcomers that's new to, to this channel, um, you may not see this information on any other channel. So let me just go over this with you real quick. Um, the plaintiffs, Martin, Teresa, the mother of Kanika, and it says plaintiff or plaintiffs. So of course they had to include Kanika. Jenkins, Kanika deceased, all right? And these are her attorneys over here. Then you have the defendant and the defendant date of service all of their attorneys over here, of course, I say all of their attorneys because it's more than one, it's Capital Security. That's the security service. Um, hospitality, that's that's the hotel service. And then you have Crown Plaza, which that in itself, I believe, is the entity of the owner. So, and then you have Murray Shike, which is the new restaurant that was put in place of the kitchen that Kanika was so-called found in, the freezer that she was found in, that kitchen has a restaurant in it called the Murray's Brother Caddy Shite. So this is them also right here. And of course, their attorneys, all right? So my purpose here is to show you, for those who already know about this particular site that I've been going to uh, previously, you already know these are the starting dates of the case all right so with um with all the newcomers coming to this channel i'm gonna scroll down to the current date or the current date that they have of any actions um all right so i'm gonna scroll on down and just to make this video quick because this is just a quick update this is nothing that's supposed to be going on <clears throat> for too long. All right, so these are the previous actions right here. All right. You can see the activity date on this side. And these are the three uh, recent actions, June the 7th. And these actions was made by Ms. Teresa herself and also her attorneys, the Bean Legal Team LLC. And they've made uh, two activities as well as Ms. Teresa. All right. Certificate of mail filed, a certificate of mailing filed, notice of motion filed, and then another motion filed. So this is just to show that the case is still open. The case is definitely still open. The lawsuit, all right? Now, the case that's closed is the Rosemont case where the police continues to investigate in who did what or, you know, what might have happened to Kanika. That case is closed. Rosemont police has closed that case. They are no further going into that. And I mean, if you know Rosemont, if you know the history of Rosemont, buy the hotel because that hotel is an anchor business of Rosemont. 
It's an anchored business of Rosemont. That hotel brings in a lot of money. And it brings in a lot of uh, illegal activity money too. You know what I'm saying? Illegal money too. So if you know the history of Rosemont, you would know that by that hotel and in the associates of that hotel being under scrutiny with a lawsuit, the police is automatically going to close the case anyway. You see what I'm saying? Because they work hand in hand. That's just the way it goes in Rosemont. And Chicago as well. So, that's that. You feel me? So that's the case that you may not ever see it opened again by Rosemont. The police case. But this lawsuit, this lawsuit definitely, definitely is still ongoing. All right? But now, I'm going to tell you, in order to get a case like this reopened, as far as like having Rosemont police come in and reopen that case and um, like really go through the information that has been given to the police department, it has to be some sort of personnel that comes in and say, hey, all of the corruption is over with. We coming in, we taking over. We're going to um, basically look over all documents, all representations, and we're going to see exactly what happened to this female in this freezer. We're going to see why the cameras were shut down. We're going to see why the police department didn't do proper uh, procedures at the scene of the body all right so it'll take a personnel to come in that that just overrides all corruption in rosemont and fearless that's that is what's going to have to be done in order for that case to open up as far as the police department opening up that case again to do any, any investigations. But on the private side, a mom can always, always, anybody, tell you the truth, anybody can open up an, a, a private investigation. If you got enough money to do it, anybody can open up a private investigation on that case. You just have to have a good, uh, uh, a, a good uh, detective that knows how to do his job that knows how to get to the key players and ask the key questions and get the key answers because no one in Rosemont is required to answer any questions anymore because like I say the police department or the security department <laughs> of Rosemont I don't know if they actually made a police department in Rosemont yet, but anyway, that's tit for tat. But yeah, man, it, that's the only way. If you get a private detective or somebody come in and just override all corruption, those are only two ways that this case will ever see real um, proper procedures from from real professionals you know what i mean like i mean we're good at what we do but we can only take it so far it'll have to it it have to be a private detective going in saying hey i got this information right here you know rosemont police department is not going to reopen it just because they see the information of what we're doing that don't mean anything but it can be a private detective working on his own you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't even have to hire a, a private detective. It can be a private detective working on his own goodwill and just decide, hey, I'm, I'm going to put in some of, the, some of the work and see exactly what happened. And it's been a few that decided they want to do that, but we never heard from them again. We never heard from them again. They never made a video after they said they're going to go in Rosemont and see what, what the deal is. They never came back. So, I don't know. 
but that's that that's what have to be done all right so this is the case still going the lawsuit still going on by miss Teresa and her uh her legal team all right see you on the next one